Today we've launched the fourth annual Government Communications Plan. It sets out the work of government communicators over the year ahead in support of the priorities set by the government. It covers the narrative of the government, the One Nation narrative to support hard-working people, to create opportunity and to ensure that Britain's place in the world helps secure prosperity and security globally as well as for the UK. So it's a hugely important piece of work for explaining what government is doing to make people's lives better. Heard the plan before you actually has four different major components. Uh, the one that I am leading is the Helping Working People Strand. Uh, this continues the work we've done over previous years in explaining the government's continuing role in promoting economic growth. Uh, it aims very much to inspire confidence in Britain's economy and ensure that working people feel they have a chance to earn a decent living. Spreading hope and opportunity, what, what does that comprise of? It's about reforming welfare, it's about opportunities for young people, it's about extending opportunity generally, it's about a healthier Britain, um, and it's about social justice. The whole aim of this theme is to explain and promote the benefits of the union to people living in every corner of the United Kingdom. The theme will rely on a very audience-led approach. We need to engage hearts and minds and therefore understand what messages really resonate with people. Um, you know, how do we penetrate through their busy lives and, and promote pride in the United Kingdom? One of the key uh, features of this is the, the fact that we are working uh, across government in an extremely collaborative way. So I'm standing up here um, but speaking on behalf of all the departments and, and it's not just the departments that you would naturally think of as working on foreign affairs as the Foreign Office, the Ministry of Defence, Department for International Development, but many, many other government departments, Department of Health, Energy and Climate Change, BIS, many others uh, are integrally and intimately involved in delivering this plan. This plan has been put together to give ministers confidence that we are reflecting their priorities to give communicators direction in terms of the work that they should be doing and to track the implementation of the communication plans that support government's priorities. So this is a living document and the directors of communication will review it every quarter, the corporate GCS team looks at progress every month and it should enable us to learn about what campaigns work, why they work and where things don't work and we need to correct them.